have done is look through the papers to see if the particular application that we need um, has been reported for that antibody. Look through papers or ask colleagues? I think still comes down to um, publication data that is associated with the antibodies that they have. So I would go to the published articles and look to see exactly what the uh, researchers did and in what format. I usually don't believe their data because I, I, we've also had experience where, you know, looking at a particular protein, you go to the vendor website, you see the Western blot that corresponds to their, their antibody to this protein, and it's a different molecular weight. There's always, there's always the kind of reminder that it is a company and they are trying to sell something. So the, the data that they're providing on the website, to me, is it, the way I see it, this might be a personal thing, but um, when I see that, that's just me telling them that at least it works potentially that you know it does a, its job in some way but it's not also not usually the best demonstration of the overall experience i mean the, co the company's goal is to sell the antibody so they they always wanted to present the best uh, result but uh, as we know that there could be a lot of factors that affects um, i guess the performance of the antibody and then it really comes down to how your protocol is run or how your protocol is set up and how your experiments run I would say more often than not, their validation, whether it be immunochemistry or Western blot, they don't use the tissues that I would be interested in. For example, let's say they might show a representative Western blot for cells, but I'm interested in a specific type of tissue. Or let's say they may show a picture for immunohistochemistry, but I'm more interested in doing Western blotting. I mean, this is exactly, uh, this would save, uh, I think, a lot of time because, yeah, with one click you have uh, all the data that's associated with Western, you know, fluorescence, immunistic chemistry, so. It's nicely designed, right? So it, it's kind of pleasing, and I think this part is key here, just having the ability to quickly go through, like, for example, what technique you're going to use this antibody for, which is, which is great. I think this this is really great. That uh, will definitely definitely make life easier for us to uh, to to look for uh, you know, the performance of the antibody. This would certainly yes. This certainly would make things easier. This would make things a lot easier. It takes a lot of time to find a new antibody and then validate whether or not it will be useful.